All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about a couple of options in here based on your display. If you have hidden edges displayed, you definitely want to be able to see them dashed, and that's a, a, a standard drafting practice. Uh, so that's where you find this. Uh, you want to be able to select the hidden edges as well. Um, and part assembly tangent edge display make them visible the rest we're going to come back to so that's where you have some of your display and selection options but this particular little box here is what you're going to be switching between when you're um, starting to uh, need to move it around and see things in different views for example this guy here is shaded with edges so you can see the edges and it's shaded the next one um, you see how that lightens it up a little bit and the edges disappear I absolutely can't stand that one um, this one here is pretty good if you don't need to see the edges that are hidden like this guy here so you're working on maybe this corner or something and you don't necessarily need these guys but if you select in that area, um, we've selected from the tools and options, uh, give us the opportunity to select those hidden lines back there. Um, and here's a pretty good one that most will see. If you go into your dimensioning and your drawing segment of SolidWorks, you're often going to see different items like this. Um, and, you know, it's a good way to you know it's a good way to understand what you're looking at once everything gets a little bit comprehensive you see the dashed they represent lines that you can't see called hidden lines so what I normally like to draw on is this top one here and float the thing around one more item is this little orientation box it's uh, it's really an invaluable tool and I keep it over here in the corner so I can access all of these different views at one time for example let's double click on top now I don't like that particular top um, so let's go back to the isometric view and I want to make this surface my top so I single select it double click on normal now I want to make that my top then I go here and update and it says it's going to change no problem now go back to isometric perfect now double check double click on top again and sure enough there it is I couldn't find a whole lot of information on how you changed these particular views because some people are really like this particular isometric view and I'm one of them I I really enjoy that particular view and so obviously I want that surface as being my top uh, that being my front so that um, that's just a quick overview of how you move stuff around now for example uh, that updates a view you know this one's worth this one's worth repeating so why don't we say this particular surface I want as my top so let's left click go normal to and then select the particular uh, view we want to turn it into so we want to turn that into our top view and this is the one we update okay so now we update that go back to isometric ooh not a particularly uh, nice view that I like but now let's check the top view and there it is okay so let's um, let's rotate this around using your middle mouse button hold it and then that allows you to do uh, a real-time rotate so let's left click go normal to I want that to be my new top view select that I do want to make this change select yes back to isometric Ah, that's the view I like alright I hope this was um, a valuable lesson 
and I'll see you in the sketch planes.